Hey guys, still a little bit ill and <coughs> got a sore face and everything, but yeah, today I thought I'd talk about one of my favourite films. Also, new Muse album came out. Cool. But that's not what we're going to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favourite films and possibly Tarantino's best film to date, but that's arguable though, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards came out in 2009 and it has an all-star cast of people you do, people you don't know and it is probably the best Tarantino has been in years. I don't know where to start with this film. The acting is really really good from everybody in this film. Brad Pitt is on point as uh, Lieutenant Aldo Rain he has this weird kind of demeanour about him that it, where he comes across as stupid but he actually really is very intelligent and knows how to get around certain problems which I'll give props to him for that although his stupidity is very apparent because of his South America very very Southern American accent you know, like Kentucky kind of, you know, like this. You ever heard of the Bear Jew? I'm getting off track. Anyway, yeah, because he does that accent so well, it works with this demeanour of stupidity. The standout, even though everyone is well acted in this film, there is, the standout has to be Christoph Waltz, who again proves his acting skills in Django Unchained, but it's this film that is probably his best that he has that he has been for a while and he probably will be his standout role even though he plays a Nazi he plays a Nazi very very well he does everything so well and the fact that he doesn't just speak English he speaks German French and Italian is astonishing I will give him props for that even though it's probably second nature to him but I will give him props for that also one thing I want to mention about the acting this is probably the film that introduced me to Daniel Bruchel and if you don't know who that is he played Nicky Lauda in the film Rush alongside Chris Hemsworth in this film he is the best I've seen him I haven't seen Rush so I can't comment but apparently he's good in that but yeah, this is the film that introduced him to me and everyone else and I give props to Tarantino for casting him. Tarantino himself also does a great job of directing here. You get his, you know, traditional style of quick zooms and long tracking shots. Things you would usually see in a very low budget short film with one camera. He does a great job of directing here. The dialogue is superb as well this is the, uh, the reason why Inglorious Bastards is my favourite film is because Tarantino does things in this film that he tries to do in his other films but doesn't quite come across as good and that is how it can quickly go from tense to exciting to humorous within a matter of seconds Django does it very well, so does Pulp Fiction, but Inglorious Bastards does it so well. For example, the scene, you may not know what I'm talking about, and this isn't really a spoiler, but the scene in the bar involving a Mexican standoff under the table is the tensest scene I have ever seen in my life. It is funny, but a point where you're biting your nails at what is going to happen next and then you have other scenes later on where for example the American soldiers are trying to pass as Italian film crew and it is h hilarious just seeing Brad Pitt trying to speak Italian but with his strong southern accent Buongiorno it's just done so well and this is probably the best example of Tarantino mixing so many different emotions into one film I really do 
appreciate that he did, did that so well in this film. Pulp, like I said, Pulp Fiction does it well, especially the scene where a certain someone is shot in a car. I won't spoil that for you. That is a perfect sense of humour amongst a really, you know, tense and gritty atmosphere. Another thing I have to say about this film is the soundtrack. Now, say what you will, Tar all of Tarantino's films have amazing soundtracks. Pulp Fiction is great, Django is great, Reservoir Dogs is probably my favourite, but Inglorious Bastards still has an amazing western soundtrack to it. Now, I know Inglorious Bastards is a World War II film, but for somehow Tarantino has used old western slash Spanish guitar playing music and blends it really well with the atmosphere that he's created in this film. The opening titles for example which is a orchestral version of The Green Leaves of Summer by Nick Petro or I think that's his surname just sums up the feel of the film so well that uh, it's just he, how Tarantino manages to choose great soundtracks each time I will not know. Also, little interesting fact, you may or may not have known, this is a sort of remake but also also a reworking of a film from the 70s of the same name. Now I beg to differ of it being a remake because it's a completely different film. The only similarity is it being that it has the same name. But the one from the 70s is a similar style, but is a completely different film. This is Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. The one in the 70s is just a film called Inglorious Bastards. But I beg to differ that it's a remake because he, Tarantino found influence from it. He didn't take that film and remake it. And to prove this point, he even had the director of the original, whose name I'm not even not even going to try and pronounce, um, he even cameoed in the film as a American sergeant in the film that plays in the theatre. This film is absolutely fantastic. It's a really great war film, it's really funny at times, it's tense, it's well acted, really well directed, it looks great as well. I think this might be Tarantino's third film where he directed digitally. I don't know, I think he did Death Proof before this but it just looks so good as well. There's a lot of it's really stylish and it's got this crispness to it that you wouldn't find in most war films. It's directed perfectly. The soundtrack's amazing, but you probably already knew that. Everything is just so good about this film. Obviously I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Because it deserves it. So yeah, that was my first My Favourite Movies video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be plenty more on the way. I'm thinking of doing a Jaws one soon, seeing that it's its 40th anniversary. 40 years, wow. Like, subscribe, comment. There'll be a video I'm thinking of doing about why remakes are so bad and why people shouldn't do them. I'm thinking of doing one of them. Uh, that will be a really long video, hopefully. But yeah, stay awesome, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, like my Facebook page, The Media Critic, and yeah, stay awesome guys, bye!